Hello, welcome friends. Welcome family and all light seekers and healers. Welcome to my home and welcome to my sacred space. Here there is love. I'm Olivia and this is Tarot and Coffee with Olivia here to do your daily pick a card. I am now gonna start shuffling our card of the day, our, our thought of the day. I always call it the card of the day, but you know, you're picking your card of the day. Oh. I don't have any card toppers on them. That's okay. We'll get to that. Okay. This is going to be our thought of the day. And as soon as I finish shuffling the thought of the day, we will go ahead and move on to placing card toppers. And that is, um, will help you choose your card for the day. All right. Let's go ahead and cut the deck. We're going to pick from the bottom. Let's see what we have. We have I am constantly evolving into a more spiritual person. And on the back, it reads, if you're evolving into a more loving, more compassionate, less violent person, then you're moving in the right direction. Well, I have no beef with that. That's exactly, that's a, that's a excellent card to have right now. I really feel like, um, you know, a lot of us are polarized against, um, family members and friends, uh, because we have different belief systems and that has got to end. That is, that's a, that's a false, uh, distraction. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put selenite on the second card because on the first card, let's go ahead and put this howlite pyramid. Okay, and then let's see. Let's put, I love this chalcopyrite. Let's see if we can see it sparkle. <laughs> there it is. Let's put that chalcopyrite here on this third rock, rock here. And let's go ahead and use the uh, turquoise for the final card. So now's the time to go ahead, and if you need to pause the video, go ahead and pause the video so you can pick your card. <clears throat> While I have a little sip of cuppa. Again, we have the Howlite Pyramid. We have the Selenite. We have the Chalcopyrite or Chalcopyrite. It's a copper ore. And we have the Turquoise. And did I mention the Howlite Pyramid? <laughs> Look at this beautiful, 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 beautiful. They are all so beautiful. Um, if you're wondering about this, this is what makes this a timeless video, or it's part of the symbolism that helps to make this a timeless um, reading. This is my grandmother's watch, and she is the one that helped guide me or she's one of the people that helped guide me in this direction. So let's go ahead and see what's under the Howlite Pyramid. Oh, let's see what we have. If I can pick up these cards. And we have the Nine of Cups, which is actually a very solidly... I'm trying to focus. Sorry about my finger getting in the way. Very solidly beautiful card to have. Look at the look on his face. Can you see that very well? Let me see if I can put a little focus on that. He's looking pretty tight. Know what I mean? He is sitting on what? A golden, something golden, something golden with lots of stuff inside. It's probably treasure. Um, here's the thing. With the Nine of Cups, there's a lot of celebration, a lot of um, happiness and gaiety. It could be family time. Uh, it's kind of one of the cards that I call kind of a, a party card. Um, sometimes we can talk about overindulgence, but I think at this time, and what I mean by time is when you find this video, um, that you don't need to worry about overindulging if you're just doing it one time, two times. Um, sometimes things call for a celebration. Um, if you feel like you're overindulging, well, then that's what would resonate with you. But I do believe, I know this card was drawn upside down when I drew it out of the deck. That's the only reason I mention it. I really feel like for most of you, it is a time to celebrate. Now let's look and see what's under the Selenite. 
seems to be holding its focus, doesn't it? And does it focus on that pretty well? That's the star, La Estrella. Um, the star offers hope among, I mean, that's the biggest word I think of, or that's, that's what I think of when I see this card is hope, especially when there doesn't seem to be any hope left. The star comes along and offers more hope than you can imagine. So if you are thinking about something that has been bothering you and feeling like, feeling a little hopeless, the star card is coming along to let you know that not only is it not hopeless, but there are so many people that if they only knew, they would be wanting to help you out of this hopeless situation and do whatever it takes to do that. Um, it's okay to ask and let people know what you're needing. It's sometimes very difficult to do. Sometimes just picking up the phone can be impossible. But this card does ask you to reach out, especially if you're feeling hopeless, to reach out and let somebody know that you're feeling hopeless and see if you can get a different perspective or even some help. Now we're going to look and see what's under this beautiful and sparkly chalcopyrite. I really, really love looking at these under the camera lens. It seems to add something. You have the Knight of Rods. Isn't he gorgeous? He's gorgeous. And he's not necessarily a he. <laughs> Now, in this king, he is an action speak uh, king. I'm sorry, he's a knight. He is an action speaks louder than words kind of person. He's also very much someone who will ride in and fix things. He's just going to come galloping in and start fixing things. Now, another thing about this knight is he can be a little unpredictable sometimes. He has a little bit of a temper and he can be headstrong um if he is you in this situation or if they are someone else i would expect them i do believe yes i did i did draw this card in the reverse so we are going to talk about some of the ne negative aspects of this particular card and that is that this person can be a little bit cold a little bit immature and what they say in the in the booklets when we read about reading the cards they say highly sexed <laughs> so take that as you will um like i said he can be unexpected and unpredictable kind of a wild card so this might actually not be a person but a situation and that's kind of what i'm feeling so I want you to just keep your mind open and expect the unexpected. Whether it be from coming from you or from somebody else. Look around. Pay attention to what's going on around you. That's for everybody. When you're paying attention to what's going on around you, uh, you can avoid some mishaps and you can find some treasures that way. So if you were pick the turquoise, you have this card, this beautiful card here, the Two of Swords, and you can see that that person is blindfolded. Now, that does not actually have anything to do with that person not being able to see because that person is actually using their spiritual eyes. So in other words... They don't see the unimportant. Instead, they see the most important. They see with their spiritual eyes. Now, when, I, when I see this card, I often think Battlefield of the Mind. That's the name of a book, a self-help book um, from back in the day. Um, but what, what I mean when I think that is with this particular card is there is a, it might be a decision it might be uh, something, you know, I kind of get the feeling that, you're, that you have been 
trying to move on to something new in some way. And maybe it's that you're trying to give something up or maybe you're trying to move forward in your job or maybe you're trying to find a different job, but you're not actually doing the legwork or something is going on here where it's kind of in your mind right now and you haven't quite gotten started. And one of the reasons you haven't quite gotten started is because you're still thinking about it. You're still thinking about what exactly you need to do and which way do you want to really go. And here's the thing, no matter what choice you make, it's your choice and it's going to be the correct choice for you. Um, so it's time to go ahead and, you know, think it over some more today and then Decide what you're going to do. You have the ability to make that choice. And I know it's been hard and there's something you're afraid of. So kind of see if you can get in tune with that. So if I were to put all these cards together, I'm constantly evolving into a more spiritual person. We'll talk about how it's, it's okay to celebrate and be happy, even as a spiritual person. It definitely is. And I definitely learned that from two major figures, and that is our beloved Paramahansa Yogananda and our Lord Jesus. Both of those entities enjoyed celebrations and parties, and it's okay to do that. And then we have the Star of Hope coming in saying, look, if there's any, if you're not feeling like um, a celebration is in order, or you're not feeling the celebration like other people are, then seek someone out and see if you can find some hope here. Um, if you are um, the Knight of Rods coming in, maybe you're coming in to save the day <laughs> and help this person here. Um, if I don't usually connect the cards together like this as if it's, and, and I'm not even really doing it as if it's a reading, so maybe I shouldn't, but here you have making your decisions. Just remember that you're constantly evolving into a more spiritual person. And, uh, even if you feel like you aren't, if you're looking at this video, you're thinking about spiritual things and that's, I'll, I'll leave that at that. And maybe that's it. Maybe that's all that means for you. And that's okay. Mm hmm I know I have one new viewer that I truly appreciate. Um, what was I going to say about oh, that? He really just comes here for answers. And he doesn't care about believing or not believing. He does not care um, what it comes from or how it happens. He just wants to know the answers. <laughs> So I really appreciate every one of you who comes here, whether this is your first time or even if it's your last time. I just want to thank you. Oh, look, the furniture polish is not really. Oh, I'm playing. I'm That was ridiculous. I Should I shoot this whole video over again? Let me go ahead and end it because maybe I don't have time. Um, so we've come to the end. I hope you found this to be just what you needed. Please do take what resonates with you and leave the rest. And don't make life-altering decisions or changes based on pick a cards. not even this one. Do connect with me on any other social media platforms. I do have that listed in the description of this video. And book with me for a more detailed reading if you're interested in that. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful time ahead. I'll see you next time.